Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I'll be explaining chapter one, generating excellence. Let's get to it. Number one, match the term with a suitable statement. So here, let's see the statement, numbers that cannot be divided by two exactly. So these numbers are odd numbers. Next, this sequence starts with zero, one and one, and the following terms can be determined by adding the previous two terms. So I've already matched it here to the Fibonacci numbers. Next, numbers that can be divided by two exactly. So even numbers are those numbers because two, four, six, eight, and 10, and so on can be divided by two equally, exactly. Lastly, geometrical arrangements on the binomial coefficients of a triangle. So we have Pascal's triangle. Next. Determine the pattern for the given number sequences. So I've already done it here for A, as you can see, 7 to 13 to 19 and to 25. So here, in order to know the pattern in between, you have to minus the numbers. 13 minus 7 gives you 6. 19 minus 13 gives you 6. And 25 minus 13 gives you 6. So here we know that the pattern is positive 6. It is plus 6. Next for B, we have 54 minus 50 minus 46 minus 42. 54 minus 50 gives us 4. 50 minus 46 gives us 4. And 46 minus 42 gives us 4, which means the pattern is minus 4. Minus 4 from the previous number. Next for C, we have negative 13, negative 39, negative 117, and negative 351. So in between these numbers, we can see th negative 13 times 3 is negative 39, negative 39 times 3 is negative 117, and negative 117 times 3 equals to negative 351. So the pattern here is times 3. Lastly for D, we have 1,296 to 216 to 36 and then to 6. So here we can see in between these numbers, there is a division operation of 6. So the pattern is divide 6. Next, complete the table below. So in this sequence, there's 2, 4, 6, and 8. And in between those numbers, it's plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2. So we know that the number is plus 2. And in words, you can just say add 2 or plus 2. So for the algebraic expressions, we'll have to always take the first term, so Tn of the first term, plus the, plus the difference in between those numbers, and n minus 1. You can see the numbers are being halved. So you divide it by 2, divide by 2, and divide by 2. So in the number here, you can write divide 2. In words, divide by 2, and Tn is n over 2. Since it's divide, it will be divide by 2. Next, for number four, complete the following number sequence. One, three, five, blank, nine, blank. So one to three, you can see it's plus two. Three to five is another plus two. So for the following numbers, you will also have to plus two, and that will give us seven to nine to 11. B, we have blank, blank, negative 20, negative 10, negative five. So from negative 20 to negative 10, you can see that it's going to divide by 2. And from negative 10 to negative, 5, negative 10 to negative 5 gives us also divide by 2. So if moving to the right means divide by 2, moving to the left should mean multiply by negative 2. So from negative 20 times 2 gives us negative 40, and times 2 again gives us negative 80. For C, we have... 268 blank blank, 169, 136, and blank. So in between 169 and 136, we have minus 33. So from 169 to 136, you have to minus 33, right? So moving to the right will be, in, will be a subtraction operation. So moving to the right again will be another minus 33 that will give us 103. So since moving to the right is, is minus, we'll have to add if we're moving to the left. So 169 plus 33 gives us 202, plus again, and plus again. And lastly for D, we have 1 over 2 blank, 1 over 3 blank, and 1 over 6. 
So in between one over two and one over three, there is one over six. However, since there is a number in between here, we cannot just write one over six over here. We'll have to divide that number by two. So then we'll get one over 12. Now we know the in-between number is one over 12. The pattern is one over 12. So here we'll take one over two minus one over 12. We'll get five over 12. So here we have five over 12. And then minus one over 12 again, that will give us one over three and then minus one over 12 again. next. The first four terms of a sequence are nine, x, negative, fifth, negative five, and negative 12. Calculate the value of x. So here we have nine, x, negative five, and negative 12. So in between negative five to negative 12, we have minus seven. So since the Pattern here is negative seven. We'll take nine minus seven, that will give us X. So X is two. Next for B, state the pattern of the sequence using numbers. So we already know the pattern is negative seven. So we'll just write here negative seven. For the words, we'll just write subtract previous number by seven. And for the third one, we'll take TN, the first term plus the difference N minus one. So since here is positive and negative, that will give us minus seven here. Complete the Fibonacci numbers shown below. So zero, one, one, dash, dash, dash. From here we have zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus two, we get three. Two plus three, we get five. Next. The diagram below shows the first five rows of the Pascal's triangle. Complete the Pascal triangle. Explain how the Pascal triangle is formed. So here we, in the edges of the triangle, we have one, 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 which means here will also be one and one. In between here, we have one and one, which means one plus one here will give us two. So since here is two and here is one, adding these two will give us three, Two and one give us three. Three and three will give us six. Three and one will give us four. Three and one will give us four here. And that will continue on. Next, the first four terms of for a sequence are 11, x, negative five, and negative three. Calculate the value of x. So from negative five to negative three, you'll have to minus eight which means negative five minus eight, you get negative 13. So if we're moving to the right, it's a subtraction operation. If we're moving to the left, it will be an addition operation. So that will mean that negative five plus eight will give us three, which means X is three. State the 10th term. So here we have the first, the first sequence is 11 equals to the first number plus the difference and zero. N minus one in the bracket, which means since N here is one, this is the first term, well, N minus one will give us zero and so on. So now we know the pattern is TN equals to the first term 11 plus the difference, which is negative eight, N minus one. So N minus one for the 10th term will be nine. 10 minus 1 equals to 9. So here we have 11 plus negative 8 times 9. That will give us negative 61. Next, Nina arranged some buttons as shown below. State the pattern for the number of buttons. So here we have 6, 12, and 18. Let's write that here, 6, 12, and 18. So we can see that in between these numbers, there's in between these numbers, there's a plus six. Six plus six gives us 12. 12 plus six gives us 18. So the pattern here is plus six. Determine the sequence for the buttons. So the, the sequence here is six, 12, 18, and 24, and so on. Next, draw the fourth term of the arrangement of buttons. So here you can see it's three by two, right? Three buttons by two, three by two. Here we have three by four. Here we have three by six, which means the next pattern will be three by eight, since here is two, 
4, 6, here will be 8. This will give us 24. So let's draw it out. We have 3 by 8. That will give us 24 buttons. Lastly, for D, we have calculate the value of T6. Let's derive the algebraic expression first. Here we have Tn equals to 6 plus 6 n minus 1. So for the sixth term, we have 6 plus 6 in a bracket, 5. 5 because n minus 1 equals to 5. So altogether, we get 36 buttons on the sixth term. Next, Anche Hamid wishes to replant the oil palm plants. The distance between each plant is 9 meters and the distances are triangular shaped. Anche Hamid sketched a map of the plants as shown below. If Anche Hamid planted 18 oil palms plants, what are the area? What is the area of his land? Okay, so here we have a triangle, triangle here, and we know that the and we know that the hypotenuse of the triangle is nine. As you can see here, this is nine, nine meters. Okay, so here we know that, and since the length is also nine. We know that this is 9. So this can be divided into 2, which is 4.5 and 4.5. So we do not know the height of the triangle. So we do not know the height here. This height, we do not know. Let's find that out by using Pythagoras theorem. So the formula for Pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse minus adjacent, and you will get here. So the height is 7.79. And since there is four rows here, 2, 3, and 4, we have all together, the height will be 7.79 times 4, which is 31.16. And for horizontal, for the horizontal length, we know that we have three rows here horizontally. So that's 9 times 3. 9 because it's already stated, here is 9. So next for the area, we'll take height times length. That will give us 31.16 times 27. And you will get the answer here. And the unit has to be in meter square since area is two dimensions being multiplied together. Ryan went to see a doctor because he had been unwell for more than three days. The doctor prescribed three types of medicines, which are fever medications, antibiotics, and flu medication. Help Ryan to plot a timetable for taking his medication if he starts at 8.30 a.m. So for fever here, we have two tablets three times a day. So if it's three times a day, in a day, if we have 24 hours, we'll have to divide it by three. That will give us eight hours of interval. Okay, so if he starts at 8.30 and his interval is eight hours, so we'll add eight hours to 8.30 a.m. That will give us 4.30 p.m. And then when we add another eight hours to 4.30 p.m., that will be 12.30 midnight. Midnight is represented by AM, so we know 12.30 AM. So let's put that back into the table. 8.30 AM, 4.30 PM, and 12.30 AM. Next for antibiotics, one tablet, two times a day. So we'll take 24 hours, divide by two, that will give us 12 hours. So if it starts at 8.30 AM plus 12 hours will be 8.30 PM. So let's put that in the timetable. 8.30 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. Next, for the flu medication, we have one tablet, one time a day. So that's just one tablet at 8.30 a.m.